Okay, so today we're going to install shell knobs with leather handles. Okay, typically it's a very difficult installation. So what we do is we take our 3 32nd drill bit, we find the center of the basket, find the center, and measure about five inches space. That works about right for just about every size handle, five inches. And we're going to drill a 3 32nd hole in the space that we've marked. Very easy. Four sides. I've pre-marked it for this video. And I've pre-drilled them. Now, very important, that's the 3 32nd. This is the bit that we use for all of the handle installations when we're using a number 14 pin. However, on shell knobs, we have to ensure that the brass screw that comes with it goes through the hole easily without being screwed in. So we open up each hole with the next size drill up. Very, very important. Very important. Now we ensure that this screw floats right through. See? Right through. That is so important. Okay? Now we're going to go from the opposite side. Put our two screws in there. Very nice. The washers, when you get them, They've been opened up as well, so that that goes through easily, as you notice, very easily. Very nice, okay? Take our leather strap. This hole typically could be a little tight, but it goes on there nicely, as you can see. Okay. Now, what I then do is I take a, a nut and I put it on there. You put a nut right on there, okay? This is important. This is something similar to the way we install a wooden handle where I use the double washer trick. I showed that in my last video. So we do that, and then we're going to tighten it down a little bit. We're going to turn it over. It looks beautiful. We're going to turn it over, and we're going to tighten this down. It tightens easy because everything floats through the this drill hole. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Stands up, looks good. Same thing, tighten this down. I'm just holding the nut with my hand. You don't have to go too tight. As a matter of fact, I don't want you to go too tight because uh, th then you won't be able to get the shell on. It'll be difficult for you. Okay, so that's the start, okay? It's tightened up pretty well. Now we take our 4175 orange handle cutters and we're gonna cut that flush, flush to the nut. And the reason we do this is because when you cut in brass, you sometimes put a burr on the end of it. So what this does, this allows us to now take the nut off and it fixes up or re-threads any burr that we may have put on there. And we're gonna do one at a time, okay? Now, the shells that we get, we have, they come in bone or ivory. They're pre-tapped, pre it's been tapped with the, with the same size screw hole. And we're going to now make sure that that's just about out. We're going to take a little dab of glue, okay? I use the, um, the uh, pink bottle, which is extra thick, so it's not dripping all over the place. I just put a small dab, okay? Just a little bit, just a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to push this all together. It's just enough. It doesn't look like much, but it is. And we're going to try to get it to stand up like that. And we're going to screw that right in, right into the hole. And that little bit of glue is going to ensure that it doesn't move. And this may look difficult, but it's not. Line everything up. Line everything up. And there we go. There's your first one. Okay? It's got a little bit of a glue on there. The nut allows us just enough thread hanging over the leather handle to allow for a proper installation. Pretty simple, but uh, people have a lot of difficulty with it. Repeat steps for every other one.